We here at Recast Software are releasing our 4.4 version of the Recast Software right-click tools. And we have some new features around the dashboards and the, the portal that we have for our Recast management server. Um, so let me go ahead and start with uh, one of my favorite dashboards here, the, the BitLocker compliance dashboard. On uh, several of the dashboards now that have the options for um, drilling down or filtering, uh, you will see a new f method for filtering based upon uh, the OUs. It has this new look and feel to it, which makes it easier to drill down. Um, or you can go by collections, and it will show you the different collections that are available with the, the, the drill downs. So for BitLocker compliance, I typically like this to choose all workstations. Um, and what's really nice about this is if you have some workstations with certain BitLocker compliance and some without or if your virtual machines don't have it you might want to filter those out and you have a specific collection for that it all makes it possible uh, by being able to filter it on collection and so here's my results here in my lab i have mbam set up and i also have the compliance rules in config manager set up and i also have it setting uh, keys to both active directory and mbam uh, with uh, some success in my lab here. So that's, uh, this is really nice because I can actually see uh, where I need to uh, spend some time in my lab to get this working better. Um, so this just brings some nice clarity to the tools here. So th with this, you can go ahead and click on any of these numbers and it will populate. And what I found interesting here is a BitLocker not managed. And now I got to track down this device I've got here and figure out what's going on with that. Probably just a re-image to get that thing working uh, how I expect again. And these unknowns were really helpful to track down to see why they weren't uh, reporting in properly. And so uh, I actually checked into these and they're having some client issues, which is why they're not reporting uh, their inventory back. So this tool is really handy for getting a, an overall area, idea of what's going on there. And uh, so you can see that this filtering has uh, gone to the other uh, different ones as well. And you don't have to filter. You can go ahead and just click scan, and that will scan your entire environment. Um, and also for the laps here, let's choose. I'm going to choose my workstations OUs. Uh, as you can see, I actually picked the, the workstations OU, which then includes anything sub to that. Uh, any child items. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And actually, I'm doing really good on my workstations because I've pretty much just re imaged them all. But uh, just to get some more interesting graphs here, I'll choose more uh, options here, which have some of my other servers and other devices without uh, laps set up properly on them. So then I can go ahead and click on these different numbers again and take a look at that. And uh, what's really nice is you can actually then show, like for instance, that you only want your workstations. And you can actually then uh, show like, hey, we actually have 100% compliance and I want to show this my manager is asking. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and put in my credentials here. And at this point, it's going to uh, take that information I saw in the dashboard in the console and it's going to build a report right here in the recast management server portal and at this point this is actually a snapshot in time so this data uh, if you send this link will stay the same and that way um, if you make progress in you can send a, a future report and they can see the progress made as well there's also live reports in the dashboard that we have the AD cleanup, the BitLocker and laps. And this would be the exact same data that you'd see in the council, uh, but it does not require the council. So we could uh, go in here, let's hit laps. Let's go ahead and scan. And then you can see this is actually hitting everything again. So it looks kind of like that other report in the council. At this point, we can actually go ahead and click share. It's going to take a snapshot. I'm just going to do laps uh, today and click create. And so what that did is it went ahead and it created a snapshot in time here. And you can see the other ones I've created from in the council. And then you can actually go through here and view your different snapshots uh, for your reporting. 
And those are some of my favorite new features in 4.4. If you have any additional requests, you can always go to our website and put in those requests. And we like um, feedback on these and we like to improve to match uh, your different requirements. So thank you very much for joining us today.